Shalom, Shalom. Yahweh bless. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Quick exaltation video again. Right? It's, this quick exaltation is being on fire and having your lungs girded in these last days. Right? The most I put it in my spirit. Wake me up, put it in my spirit and say, Aaron, just go ahead and record a video and exalt your brothers. Right? And I flow into the spirit of the most high. Right, these are the last days that we live in and you really have to be on fire and you really have to be diligent. And when I speak this, I speak into myself and all too. You know what I mean? There's certain parts of you, especially in these last days, Satan, like working overtime trying to sift you this truth. Right, as we reach closer to the end, the birth pain is getting more severe. Right? So you got to be more reason for you to be on fire. More reason for you to build up your faith in these last days. And be more on fire and study more fast more and pray more right and exalt one another in this truth daily too as well you understand but let me just kick it off right quick i started um luke chapter 12 and verse 26 verse 36 i mean salakian right right the book of luke salakian I believe it's, yeah, it's 35 I want it, right? Say, let your learnings be girded about, right? And your light burning, right? So you have to, your lungs have to be girded, right? You fitting and you going to war and you having your, your lungs girded, right? And your light burning, right? That light what it's talking about, right? It's talking about these laws and these commandments. Because these laws and these commandments is the light that we have to, to keep in these last days. Let me get that in the book of, of Psalms, Salakian. Let me get that in the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 130, right? The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and 130, right? It right? The entrance of thy word, the entrance of thy word give, give light, give it light. And it give understanding unto the simple Right, so these laws and these commandments, I get a clear, or I get another precept. These laws and these commandments give you light. Right, it says the entrance of thy words give light. Right, give it light. And it give it give understanding unto the simple, because we was once simple in this truth. We didn't know no better. We were sinning, eating eating pork, shrimp, lobster. Right, uh, um, being harmongers. Right, but the most high. The most I give us light, right? We were simple to these things. That's why, uh, let me get another precept. Psalm chapter. I'm going to stick on, I can stick on the light though. Let's, let's, let's bring it home with the light. Right, what is the light? What the scripture is talking about. Proverbs chapter 20. It's Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23, right? And it read, right? For the commandment is a, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. And reprove of restrict or instruction or the ways of life. Right? Again, reprove that's the instruction of you how to live. Right? A brother correcting you, teaching you the laws and the commandment. That's you being reproved and giving you the instruction of the ways of life. Right? But the commandment is the law and the law is the light. Right? So if you're saying you walk you in the light, right? These are the things that the most is saying that you have to how burning you have to have a desire for these laws and these commandments right as we right now the time that we in right now is so important for us to be going into the torah right the five books of moses the book of the law i mean the whole entire bible is the law but you have to you really have to get the basic understanding of these laws because these laws is very important Right, this is what you have to have burning for in these last days, burning for these laws, wanting to see the most high uh, righteousness established, right? This is what you have to want. This is what you're supposed to be on fire for, right? These laws and these commandments, right? Examine self, examine yourself daily, right? Seeing if it is that you're walking in these laws and these commandments, right? Perfecting these laws in these last days, right? This is what you're supposed to have burning a zeal for, right? Let me get some more precepts. Right, um, it was a precept what I wanted. Yes, um, Psalm chapter, I believe it's Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. Right, the book of Psalm chapter 19. Hey, and these fundamental precepts are they going into? Right, 
the book of Psalms, chapter 119, chapter 19, Salakim, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is short. The testimony, the things that you read about the Lord, the things that happen, the things that's going to happen, all of these testimonies, they are short, right? Oh, Salakian. Making wise the simple, right? These laws and these commandments can make a wise man look simple, right? Your so-called uh, 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 government leaders, your pastors who don't know nothing but these laws, right? It make them look simple, right? That's why it says these, it can make wise the simple, it can make wise the simple, or it could make a simple man be wise. You understand? These laws and these commandments, right? Let me get another precept, right? About having your loins girded. Let me go to First Peter's. First Peter's chapter 1 and verse 13, right? The book of First Peter's chapter 1 and verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind and uh, be sober and hope to hope to uh, to end for the joy for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the as the revelation of Yahweh Shai at the revelation of Yahweh Shai right so in these last days you have to have your, your mind girded making sure that you ain't going off right making sure that you ain't giving yourself into concupiscent right uh, on the cares of this world right that you ain't giving yourself into suffering where you worrying so much about paying bills or so much about incomes and the most I already know that you have need for these things you know but at the end of the day you don't want your mind to just be caught up on just uh, uh, um, the cares of this world you understand right let me read it again right first Peter chapter 1 and verse 13 right wherefore gird up gird up gird up the lungs of your mind be sober and hope to end and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai, right? As a as obedience children, not fashioning your not fashioning yourself according to the former lusts in your ignorance, right? When you was ignorant, you didn't know this truth, right? Don't give yourself back to that lust of you. You know what I mean? You might have been thinking about about, about, about some girl which you had back in the days. Right, but don't give yourself or what you used to do back in the days, and I used to scam and finesse. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you know that you used to deal with in your ignorance, right? Don't give your mind over to that way. You think it's so? You got a lot of brothers in this truth too that still living on their past, worrying about the the girls that they had back in the world. Hey, you you can't be worrying about these things no more because these things is the past. Now you was the children of the light, right? You got our. Uh, take these things away from your mind right but but as he so lock in, but as he which I'd call you is holy so so be he holy in all manner of conversation in all manner of conversation every conversation that you have in, no, I'm not saying that I never slip on this occasion here right because this, this is something that you battle daily with this flesh right there killing that old man right and Paul even said that um, in the book of Romans chapter 7 right as much as he was trying right there was still war with his members right even though he tried tried to do good but it was so it was still evil present him right paraphrasing the scripture right but there's something that you have to continue examining trying to be better we try we work we doing the perfect work to be perfect Right, you know what they say? Say perfect practice made perfect. If you practice in these perfect, these perfect laws and these commandments, then you will be perfect. Right? Eventually, you can get it. Right? It's a trying stage each and every day that you have to go through. It's a different task, a different battle that you have to overcome each and every day. And sometimes you might, you might have to go back at it the next day, or sometimes you might have to keep going back at it. But the most I say, as long as you try it, 
he's going to keep you as your mind stay and trying to keep these laws the most i say he's going to keep you in perfect shape right let me get that in the book of isaiah isaiah chapter 26 where well, we can quote it we can, we can read it right the book of isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3 Thou will is keep him in perfect in perfect peace, who mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee, right? Because you trusting in your mind in the most high, and your mind always on the most high. You know when you go off, you feel like guilt feeling, and you asking the most high for forgiveness, right? That's why the most high say godly sorrow work in repentance. You really sorrowful for your sin, right? Because your mind is on the most high. That's the reason why you sorrow, right? A better mind who went on the most high when he's sending he don't give a, he don't care. But your mind always on the most high. Right? Let me get another precept on that, right? I believe it's first Corinthians. No, it's second Corinthians seven and verse ten. Let me read that. Right? For godly soul work it repentance to salvation and not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world work it death. Right, so you have a godly sorrow, the most high is gonna have repentance for you. Right? A brother in this world who don't have no who don't have no godly sorrow, who have the worldly sorrow, right? They might just tell you sorry just to do it the same thing over and again. I mean that's the worldly sorrow right there. That's working death, right? That brother is not gonna make it in the kingdom of heaven. But a brother that have godly sorrow, that brother is gonna make it in the kingdom of heaven. Right? But like the scriptures say, right? In the book of First Peter, chapter one and verse thirteen, right, gird up the lines of your mind, right? Because there's some things that go through to in your mind, right? You gotta take these things away, and you gotta pray that the Most High take it away. Let me get that in the book of Sirach, Sirach chapter 25, 23. right? And it's a beautiful verse, right here. This this right here is one of my favorite chapters to strengthen up my mind. Sometimes I, I like to go through it, right? Right, the book of Sirach, chapter 23, and verse 1. O Lord, Father and Governor of all my whole life, of my whole life, Salakian, leave me not to their counsel, let me not fall by them, who will set scourge over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my heart, that they spare me not. For my ign ignorance, pass it, pass it not by my sin. Right? So that's what you got to pray. Pray that the most I put a scourge on your thoughts. Right? And let these things overpass the, the, the ignorance. Spare you from that ignorance. Right? That ignorant thought. Whatever it is that you, you know what I mean? You do, you still do certain things or the ignorance. Right? Or being subject to the sinful body. You still could go off. But you got to pray that the most I take away these these thoughts away from you all right and verse 3 right say least my ignorance increase and my sin abide to my destruction right so you got to pray for that that your sin don't increase you being ignorant you ain't even checking to see like okay well maybe i should examine myself you know what i mean maybe let me let me get more into the law let me see what it is that i lacking in this truth right where it is that i can build Right, you gotta pray that the most I saying, 